Yo, what is up guys? My name is Mr. Playbig for those of you who do not know me and welcome to my YouTube channel where I post Call of Duty videos and lots of just gaming related videos. So in this commentary, it is a it is a league play commentary on the map Hijacked and it is hard point and I usually will be playing the anchor role but mostly in this video I'm just pulling uh, whatever I want to do because these kids really sucked and my teammates weren't the best either and I ended up getting a really good score I'm pretty sure I almost got to like 60 kills and something like I got under like 16 17 deaths and 60 almost 60 kills something along those lines guys don't call, don't call me for that later on so one of the big things that's happening in my life that I wanted to bring to you guys today is the fact that I am a graduating here in the next week um, I live in Canada so our graduating ceremonies and all that takes place a little bit after United States get turned on um, but uh, yeah so f I have tomorrow which is Thursday today's Wednesday I have tomorrow which is Thursday and then I have Friday and those are my two last days of regular classes and then the next week I have an exams weeks which would be finals for those of you in the states or if you call them finals where you live well where I live they're called exams they're called final exams Basically the same thing. I don't know if yours is a little bit harder, but get a knife, kid. Um, but mine, um, I actually only have to write one. I only have to write my grade <coughs> 12 um, senior English, uh, my English exam, and I'm off on everything else because where I live, we have these things called exemptions, so you don't have to write all of your exams. If you have high enough marks in certain classes and... Uh, a low amount of days missed like if like say if you have a 75 percent and you've only missed like i don't know four or under amount of days and you haven't got gotten suspended or um anything like that <coughs> or skipped any days then you get like exempted from certain classes anything but well, anything that's your elective so like not your math and sciences but anything else you're allowed so um, I got exempt from all mine, and one of my classes doesn't even have a final exam in it. So I only have to write my English class uh, exam, which is pretty awesome. So basically, I have tomorrow and Friday, and then next week I only have to go on Wednesday, and I write that one exam. And then all the other uh, days I'm off next week, which other people will be going there, the other grades and people my grade will be writing all their other exams. Um, so yeah, and then I go back on the next Monday and find out... Uh, if I passed everything, which I will, you know, I get my report card. So my final report card of my public school, high school career, I'm going to get that next Monday. And I'm, or not next Monday, the Monday after. And I'm kind of looking really forward to, you know, getting out of the high school scene and moving on with my life. And it's also a big thing for me because, of course, there's graduation and prom and all the fun stuff in there. So lots of parties. We got prom parties going on after prom. We got this thing called Safe Grad, which is pretty cool in my school. It costs about... 15 grand to put on every year for the grade 12s and we don't have to pay anything it's a hundred percent free for all graduates at my school and there's fundraising throughout the year to uh, get the money and the funds for this and it's pretty it's pretty fucking awesome for what I've heard from uh, other people that have gone to my school and have experienced it themselves my older sibling um, you know just pe people people that I know that have gone to my school and gone to this safe grad so what is up like I'm graduating guys like I'm gonna be finishing my last year of public school and going out in the big old world having a good time and then just moving on and I'm kind of really excited for it it's just been such a long run um you know moving up to where as to where I am going to be graduating here in two weeks and it's honestly like high school was a crazy experience for me and today I didn't just even want to talk about uh, graduation I also wanted to talk about something else <laughs> that I was thinking about today. I actually watched uh, Eat My Diction 1 in a scene editor's video earlier today. And it got me thinking about how, like, um, they're talking about awkwardness and how, and how them as people, they use, they think YouTube, they're more of a shy person and they weren't, they weren't more, uh, they, they weren't very social when they were younger and things like that. And it's kind of cool because I can entirely and completely relate to what they were saying due to the fact that um, in my high school years, I honestly spent a lot of time playing video games, and I've invested a lot of time into my gaming career. Um, as a, I know, actually, that's that's. I, okay, let me take that back. Let's go back a step. 
not gaming career because I've not made money from gaming, but just me being a gamer uh, in general as myself. You know, I've invested many countless hours into games and you know trying to get better at something that I love and something that I enjoy doing. So that's <laughs> something that. I will always like remember like some some people just call me like a nerd and all that stuff, but I'm not even a nerdy guy, man. I play a bunch of sports. I'm like six two, tall, lanky, and like stuff like that. But I just you know what, sitting inside and playing video games is okay with me, honestly. Um, I love video games. I also love like meeting people and interacting with people in new ways and uh, things like that. That's why I started this YouTube channel, and that's why I like gaming, because gaming for me isn't just like on a level where only I have to play it, it's on the multiplayer level, which is like sharing your, your thoughts and opinions and voicing your opinions and sharing your ideas and like your gameplay and even playing and talking with people in lobbies, like that's all being shared with someone else that you will never like actually probably meet in person unless it's a friend that you that has an Xbox account that you're playing with, you know what I mean? So it's kind of cool to know that like you're just interacting with people that you might you might not have been able to interact with if you wouldn't have had an Xbox and spent all those countless hours playing. And I've honestly met some really cool um, and very inspiring and awesome people from the internet, and it's kind of funny to say that because most people don't get to experience that. Most people. Um, are friends and just get to be friends with the people they live around, you know, the people that go to their school and the people that they've known for a long time and, and just things like that. But I feel like I've, I've had a, a it's been a privilege or it, it is a privilege. It still is a privilege to be able to, you know, have this, um, different experience or this, or this other insight into different people from around the world and, So there's different insight and different into seeing insights from other people from around the world, and I think that's just cool. And I feel like I've been privileged to be able to have that chance to have that other way of meeting people and getting to know someone through the use of like Xbox and the internet and anything like social media wise or like electronic. I just think that's a cool experience, and I I like the idea that um, even though I spend countless hours inside playing video games, but I actually met. Like, I, I actually had, like, uh, friendships with people, like, over Xbox Live, um, being, like, where I'd come on every day, and every day I would talk to this person, you know, be like, how are you, like, how was your day, and things like that, and then we just, like, game, and that was, that was a cool experience, and those are cool experiences, and things that I value, um, as being myself and being me, I value, um, the way that that interaction happens like the way and I value the people that I've talked to and I also um have been thinking a lot about my channel and th and uh, other things just just along those same lines and things about my channel that I've actually been thinking about are more along the lines of what direction I want to take it in and the other day, I mean, I haven't posted a Call of Duty video in about three days. I posted, the last video I posted would have been uh, Doritos Crash Course. It was just a funny um, little two, 1v1, you know, little kind of like race kind of a deal, which which I thought was pretty cool, and it was funny, and I enjoyed making it, and I thought it was pretty hilarious, and I think a couple people also thought it was hilarious too. But what I'm getting at here is that with my channel... Um, I realized today that like I'm I'm getting under th like 25 views every video, but the thing I was thinking about was if I want something like the way that I do want to have this, and I want to meet new people through YouTube, and I want people that I can game with and just just be be cool with and be hilarious with and just have a good time and upload those kind of a videos, not just ones when I'm solely commentating myself, but ones when I can interact with other people and bring in bring them in and so they can voice their opinion maybe on something that I have my own opinion on, and it's just like things like that that I think are really cool about. Um, the whole idea of my YouTube channel, and I also think about my YouTube channel is that, like, I'm getting those views, but, like, if, if I keep persevering, I keep pushing towards, like, my ultimate goal, which is something that I would actually really want to happen and actually, like, do and continue on with, um, in the long run, then I, f I feel like I'm gonna keep doing it even if I am getting 30 views on a video, because 
Some someday, one of these days, I don't know how long it'll take, but like my views will jump, and there will be more people watching my videos because the more videos I post, the more people are gonna be able to find my content on the internet. It'll be passed around, and the more easy, uh, more uh, easier it would be for people to you know find out who I am and uh, what I'm doing. So guys, there's about 20 seconds left in this commentary, and I hope you enjoyed this commentary. So this commentary is basically on my graduation and uh, the direction of uh, the my graduation and the direction that I would like things to take. And this is gonna be the final kill cam, guys. This Hellstorm missile. So I just got the Hellstorm missile kill. We won 178 to 146, and I got 57 kills and 17 deaths with. 10 defends? Yeah, 4 captures of hard points and 10 defends for the hard points. So guys, that's it for me. Uh, my name is Playbabe, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, then it would really appreci I'd really appreciate if you'd like and comment on this video and tell me what you think. And that's it for me, guys. Until next time, my name's Playbabe. Peace.